Yo, what's going on everybody, man? It's your boy Prioxis and I'm back with another video here. This is not live commentary. This is uh, me commentary over these matches, man. What you about to witness is some nice flow state Max Holloway gameplay you do see here in the first match. We're going against somebody in Division 17 using Alexander the Great Volkanovski. A pretty good pickup, in my opinion. The best featherweight to use in UFC 4 now. So, here we go. Fight starts out, guys. And what you about to witness is just clean gameplay. Um no no spamming no whole bunch of strikes being thrown don't get me wrong i believe i throw like a hundred strikes in a round and you know in these rounds but you, when you watch me play it's not gonna look like i'm throwing that mean i'm not gonna look like i'm being so uh aggressive but it's gonna be clean you guys are gonna see you see here fight starts out hit him with a nice low kick boom i avoid that boom i block the switch kick nice and notice how i'm getting him to throw right and he's missing. He landed there, which was clean. I'm fainting a low kick, see if he's gonna block it. I faint the high kick, see what his block does. Nice hook by him. Okay. And cross to my body, okay. I faint. Boom, hit me with the low kick. And I'm looking to hit him with one as well. Boom, there it goes. Okay. Just switching stances, giving him the different looks. Nothing too major. I know a lot of you ask, why do I switch dances so much? <clears throat> it's mainly just out of habit. Nice combination. And you can see he's really successful early on in the fight. And I'm like, that, I believe at that moment I felt like, okay, I need to stop engaging him. He's landing so much because I'm engaging him consistently. And um, I need to engage him smarter. Or I need to, if I'm engaging, I need to engage offensively and then just get out. And right there, I just did the same thing. Every time I get out, I bait the strike. Again, I'm entering in the pocket. And I'm like, bruh. Okay. You can see now I'm playing a little bit more defensive. I'm not sitting his in his range. Once we get into a, a close range, you can see I'm firing off the jabs to cross. He's utilizing my reach. Um, Max Holloway does have a level five jab and cross, if you guys didn't know. So killer strikes you can see right there now that sequence right there notice how i threw all those punches up top and then i threw the hook and he thought i was gonna go low and then i threw the hook again and then i followed up with the low kick because at that point you know he probably thought oh this guy's gonna throw another hook but i go up top with another strike and go to the to the leg with a low kick okay and you can see round one is a bit slower you know, not that really fast paced, not like a lot of strikes being thrown. Which, I mean, I like to keep my volume pretty short, uh, low. So even on fighters like Max Holloway, I, when you're using Max and we're comparing volume compared to, you know, other high level players or other players that use Max Holloway, and their volume is upper in the 130s, 120 range, you know, so I'd call that higher volume. I tried to throw a lead over him, but I didn't. Ooh, that was a nice low kick. And notice how I'm looking to chop his leg. I don't know if you guys are paying the close attention to his leg, but I'm really chopping Volkanovski's leg early with Max, man. And I'm getting in some good work with it. Okay, and that's round one over with. I, I believe I won round one. I mean, even if I didn't, I'm okay with what's happening in round one. I got a cut under my left eye, but it's all good. Here we go. Round two. Start it off. And you can see everything full. Look at the stamina, the head health, the body's a little hurt, but other than that, I'm I'm clean, right? I mean, it's safe to say that I have yet to take much damage at all, and I my stamina's a one, especially for a five round fight. That right there was a nice combination, and that's why I did the bow thing because that was clean. See, I'm still looking to attack his leg. Nice by him. Ooh, I attack the leg again. And right now he's trying to uh you know hit me high high kicks and low kicks. Okay, there we go, make him miss there. Then I miss. So couldn't really punish him heavy. Boom, attack the leg again. Pushing me back. Hook up top. Then I throw a combination to get him thinking everything high and follow up with a low kick, man. Got him a nice combination up top. As he kind of gets the disrespect to enter in my pocket. And this guy isn't really moving his head much. 
when he does enter the pocket, so I'm able to fire off some combinations up top. Okay. By the way, I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, gameplay of Max Holloway. If you are, don't forget to hit the like button. It's a bit, again, it's not the fast pace, throwing a whole bunch of combos. Max Holloway that a lot of you guys are used to playing or used to seeing. It's more so slow and methodical Max Holloway, kind of like he was in that second fight. Um, I believe it was the second fight. Yeah, because the first one, Max lost by low kicks, basically. Domination. I just out kickbox the second one. Max Holloway actually was kicking Volkanovski legs. And you can see I'm kind of going with that game plan a little bit here. Boom, kick is back again. Here we go. Now, right there, I threw that combination right there only because he stayed in the pocket with lower head hook. Right? He just stood there essentially, threw nothing, and ate all those punches. Now he clinches me. Okay, I'm okay with that. He stays in the pocket again. I probably should have followed up with more punches to the head instead of the low kick, and I probably would have rocked him again or dropped him. Boom, there goes the low kick. Boom, attack the leg again as he stands there. And now his leg is screwed, and I'm not really sure what exactly this guy's skill is when fighting in the orthodox, I mean the southpaw stance. But Bukanashi does have a switch dance of like what 90, I believe it may be like 98, 99, somewhere up there. So not as effective as I would want it to be, but you also gotta think about how it affects the actual player and how good they are at fighting in that opposite stance. I push him down right there with the front kick because he threw a high kick. Or I believe a kick to the body. There you go. Nice. Nice combination at the end. This would be a little bit aggressive. And that was a good round. Really good round for me. I got the knockdown. Everything was clean. Everything definitely was clean. But, gonna run a quick ad before this next round starts, guys. Well, I was running after we checked these stats. Two knockdowns. And in round one, we definitely won. Okay. Hold this ad, guys. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Here we go. Round three out of five. And you can still see the stamina is A1. I mean, it's probably sitting That's probably sitting close to 95%. So, definitely can't complain. Max Holloway. Ooh, that was a low kick with the real leg. You check it. Nice. And you can see he's actually doing some good work to my body now. And he, and he started it off early. That's the thing. When you want to work somebody's body or work their legs, you do it early. You don't, you don't wait until round three to start working the body. You want to get in that damage early, so... When it gets to the later rounds, it adds up. But if it's a three-round fight, you really want to do it early. Got the kick, took him to the cage, throw a hook up top, throw a hook up top. And he switched back to orthodox, so that tells me a little bit of how comfortable he is in his stance. In the southpaw stance. And I need to immediately be looking to attack the leg again. Let's see if I do. There you go, so he switched back to southpaw. Block the high kick. Nice. Now he's trying to throw high kicks, trying to catch me, but I'm already, I'm already knowing what he wants to do, so I'm already ready for it. Block the body shot, about to throw another high kick. Nice rear hook. I did not try to shoot that takedown. I believe I tried to go across to the body. High kick. Okay. Woo! As you can see, this, this match is becoming a, a slaughter. You know, it's becoming a... A real, I'm just out kickboxing this guy. Nice high kick, you landed that one. Into the body. Okay. You can kind of see I'm, I'm really getting the momentum now, right? Kind of getting the momentum now. And uh, it, it, it gets ugly. When Max Holloway's get momentum, it, it gets ugly. It's not a pretty thing. Go. Cross to the body. There we go. Look at that. Look at it, man. You can really see. You can really see it. Knock him down. Yep. Two knees to the head. Oh, I got two knees to the body. Then I go to the body with the hook. Nice. Attack the body. Attack the body. 
attack the body. Notice how I've taken all my focus off the legs and I immediately start attacking the body because I got him to switch stance. I got him while I, I got him doing what I needed him to do with switching stances and weekend in the leg. There we go. Now he's trying to shoot takedowns. Denied it. Knee to the face, knee to the body. Punch up top. Okay. Grab calls my house to the body. Then I saw the front kick. <laughs> he just front kicked me in my face. <laughs> and that's going to be round one. That round three, I believe. We're going into round four now. And you can see how drastic, the, you know, the changes of the momentum and the rounds have been, especially with this third one. So, as we go into round four, it's going to definitely be tough for him. I can tell you that right now. It's definitely going to be tough for my mans here. The, uh, to get a finish or get me up out of there. His best case scenario is, I mean, it's getting a body rock and getting me out of there then. But you can see my body recovered a little bit. I think the fifth round, jabber, hook, leg, clean. Jabber, hunts to the body. There we go. See how we got him throwing? And we're not even there. We're not even there. Look, we're not there. There he goes. There he goes. But I'm willing to trade because I know that his his health isn't as good as mine. Even though mine isn't that great either. And his stamina for sure isn't as good as mine. That was nice. I go roundhouse to the body. I see overthrows. Hook to the body with a nice combination. Again, hook to the body. Lee hook. You just quit. Boom. And he, you can see he's throwing. The man is throwing. He's definitely throwing his strikes. He's trying to get him up out there. But the problem is, man, he got to be so careful with that. Boom! Something like that happens. He gets dropped. There you go. Right hook to the body. Front kick pushes him back. We rock him. Go to the body. Go up top. I'm looking to finish the fight here. Mink, 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 mink. And that's the end of that one right there, man. That was that's some clean Max Holloway gameplay. I mean, you, you notice how the momentum just completely shifted. Um, again, it was back and forth, especially round one and round two. Um, I believe round two, I may have knocked him down a couple times, but you can see round one. Man. It, was, it was back and forth. But by the time we got to round four, the momentum was completely gone. I reached Division 20. Look at me. It was good work, though. Oh, actually, Division 19. It was good work. Definitely good work. Uh, GG's to my opponent in this one, guys. We're going to go ahead and jump into the next fight. Before we do, I'm going to... 30-27, so we won all rounds. I'm going to go ahead and, and run a quick ad, guys. And if you get the ad, you get it. You don't, you don't. By the way, some pretty good accuracy. Some pretty good accuracy. I'll do 160. What I throw? 160. I want to see it again. Maybe I'm... Okay. See, I'll do 160. Let me see. Landed... 321 landed 160. I'll let you guys do the math. What's 160 times two? All right, let's move on to the next fight. Before we do, I'm gonna run a quick ad. And if you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. All right, so here you go. All right, so here we go, guys, with the next fight. Max Holloway. This is in the lightweight division now. This is Max Holloway in lightweight, so this isn't as brawlic Max Holloway as you guys are used to seeing. So a little bit, of, a little bit of challenge. And I was like, why not? I mean, Max Holloway did lose to um, Dustin in lightweight. So, maybe a little bit of redemption. So, here we go. Fight starts out. Nice. I check the kick. I just want to play a slow pace. See exactly what he wants to do. See, if he's going to play a slow, he's going to be aggressive. Nice one, too. I popped him with. So. Switch kick. And you can see, I still got the same game plan as far as the pace of the fight. But, you see, I'm not really attacking Dustin's legs. I'm not really... Focused on Dustin Legs. I'd rather attack his body, kill the stamina, because it's a three-round fight, and you know, attacking the legs can be risky. Can be extremely risky. Ooh, nice he rocked me there. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I didn't get rocked one one single time in that last fight. I didn't get rocked once. But 
Attacking the legs, you know, you kind of open yourself up to be hit with strikes for free. And when it comes to the judges' scorecards, it's about damage. So you don't want to give free damage. So if you want to kick someone's leg in a three-round fight, I'm not telling you don't do it. I'm just telling you be wary and understanding of the uh, risk that you take when doing it. But, I mean, it's the same risk you take when going to the body. If you can possibly get uppercut it. So. But I just feel like the body shots, you know, the risk and the reward is much better than a kick in the legs. And it's mainly the reward with attacking the body versus kicking the legs. Nice up with the Helena Queen. Followed up with two hooks. Mm, he overthrew in the pocket. Well, not that he overthrew bad. But threw a kick in the pocket. I'm sorry. Still, kind of overthrew. It's like a three punch combination. Okay. Boom, he attacked my body, I followed with an uppercut. Go up top. Oh, I went down low, then up top. He blocked both, it's okay. I still punished him with the rock, so I'm, I'm satisfied. Pause, okay. Jab cross, jab cross again. Again, got another opponent that isn't moving in the pocket. He gets hit with a nasty counter. Then I overthrow there, get hit with a high kick. I gave him that, that opportunity to throw the high kick because I overthrew and he made me guess either block high or block low. Okay. Yeah, almost got front kick trying to get respect. Okay. Switch kick landed clean. I try to go across to the body. Then I immediately move my head because I'm expecting the uppercut counter right after it, but he doesn't throw it. Boom, jab cross again. Nope. There goes round one. There goes round one. I'm telling you, man, this is some clean gameplay, bro. It really was some pretty clean gameplay on Matt Holloway. And, um, again, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, here we go. Round two. Again, stamina still good. Head health still good. Body, everything's good. Nice. Uh, low kick. Follow with my switch. He evades, gets out the way, he's from the nasty cross. Okay. You can see right there, I was baiting it. I was looking for the counter. I stood there, and then I immediately moved my head when I seen him throw and hit with a nice counter. Okay. Nice knee. Don't know why I did leg to my damage to my leg, but it did. Boom, he threw a kick in the pocket, got punished. That's the same thing could happen when you throw a low kick. Mm. There's a high kick and a cross. If someone throws a high kick or a low kick or a roundhouse to the body with the lead leg, no matter what they throw, remember, high, up to the head, to the body, knife counter. If they throw it high, to the midsection, to the body, or to the legs with the lead leg, they can always throw a cross right afterwards. So just keep that in mind, guys. And you'll see a lot of people do that. But you can't do it with the rear leg. There we go. We got a nasty rock to the body. You can see, like I said before, working the body, man. Getting it in early. Nice combination up top. You can see he's looking to be real aggressive. Okay. Nice. Cross to the body. I tried to evade, uh, tried to slip a, a straight strike, but he moved a hook. Boom, I rocked him. Go to the body. Go on up top, went back to the body. Cross to the body. Notice how when I get a rock, I don't go crazy, man. I don't go crazy. Like, I, because there's a lot of people that will go crazy and then get rocked themselves versus just keep it calm and collected. Why well, throw five strikes to land two when I can just throw two by themselves and land both? I drop with the uppercut. Nah, I don't want that finish, so I didn't go for it. Okay, you can see I've switched stances to the southpaw. I am used to fighting in both stances with Max. Nice combination. I mean, I'm still trading with Dustin, and he's definitely still can get me up out of there. Shoot the takedown, we deny it. Knee to the face, knee to the face. Actually, I think those knees to the body. Okay. Nice counter. Then we fake to the body. Go back up top. Nice hook for him. Cross rocked him. Hook up top. Dropped him. Okay. And you can 
see now, look, the same thing. Momentum has completely, I mean, it wouldn't say completely shifted, but the way it shifted is it's going in more so in my favor, heavily versus back and forth. And never was really back and forth. I'd say I've been winning this fight from the start, but you can see that this Max uh, this Dustin is just completely losing now. But before we get into this, I believe the last and final round of this fight, guys, I'm going to run a quick ad. If you get it, you get it. You don't, you don't. All right. So here you go. Okay. And yeah, I, I, as you can see, it, it's looking like the end of this match with Dustin Poirier. I mean, he's just getting rocked, getting dropped. You can see my stamina still about 97, 96%. So we're still A1. Nice low kick from him, but I mean, there's really no purpose of him throwing low kicks at, at four minutes <laughs> and 33 seconds of the fight of the last round. Okay. Nice. He gets a rock there as I stand there and just eat the punches. But then I trade back because I know his head up is low himself. And then I rock into the body. Okay. Boom. Rock into the body. And notice the efficiency. I want you guys to really notice the efficiency. In which, I, when I get the rocks, how efficient I am versus just spamming strikes. Nice overhand from him. Okay. If that hook would have landed to his body with a rock, and then that other hook up top would have probably flash KO'd him. He shoots another takedown. We deny it. I tried to knock him down to do stamina damage. But if I knew if I threw a knee, I'd possibly knock him out. And I wanted to get a decent look at knockout because I knew this fight was possible. Well, not possible. This fight basically over. But you can see he's gassed out now. His head health is screwed. His body is screwed. Boom. Look at that nasty. He shot the uppercut. I slipped it. Hit him with the lead hook and put him right to bed. That was a good match, though. That was a good match. Uh, GG's to both opponents in this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. Um, it will not be a third fight. I'm leave it at that. I got a killer upload for you guys next time. I mean, I'm talking about if you don't watch it, it's the Paulo Costa upload. You guys will want to watch that one. I promise you want to watch that one. So be looking out for that. Turn on those notifications. And uh, I'm going to get up out of here, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and also comment, you know, what was your favorite moment of the video. But I'm out. Y'all stay up, stay blessed. Keep moving forward. Love you guys, man. Peace.